in MongoDB, you create documents, you update documents, and so on. It's a good practice to add timestamps or dates when object is created and when it is updated. Usually, it is performed using two separate fields. For example, created add and updated add. So, created add field is set to the date when object was created and updated add is changed when document is changed itself. And of course, values of those fields are usually set to the current date at the moment of the change. There are two ways to set such dates. First way to set using set operator and second way is to use current date operator. Let's look at the syntax of current date. So just current date, then field name and then simply true. Let's look at an example. In this example, for the document with card ID 3 to 5, we set created add field to the current date. This will be performed automatically by Mongo. So just current date operator and then field name with the value true. Let's look at this in action. First perform find operation and ensure that our documents don't have any date fields. And let's add field called updated add to all documents. Let's go to update tab. First, let's perform this using update one just for one document with an index one. Index one as a query. And in update, let's use set operator. And here set a value updated add and here will be new date and parentheses. Let's execute this. Matched count 1, modified count 1. Let's go back to the find and execute query with an index 1. And here is a field updated add and is a date. Remember that it is BSON date type and current date. Ok, let's go back to update and let's update all other documents but using current date operator. Ok, let's add a query here. Updated add exists false. And instead of set, I will use current date and just updated add true. And of course, you must change update one to update many because we are going to change all documents that don't have updated add field. Ok, let's execute this command enter. And you see that four documents were modified. Let's go to find and execute default query. And now you see that each document has updated add field. And it was set in each document to the current date at the moment of operation. Let's go back to update. Now you can change this updated add field each time when you change a document. Let's now perform following operation. We will take one of the documents, for example document 2, you see that card is empty, and add item to the card. And in the same action, we will update updated add field. Let's do this, let's go to update. Here I will use card ID that is equal to card ID of the document 2. It's a 325 325 and let's perform current date operation and set operation. Let's copy this part. Just paste it here. Instead of current date I will use set and let's set value of the card to the array with one item, item 1, like this. And current date will be left unchanged. So let's go back to the find, use index 2 as a query, use the date this here, so 58 minutes, and let's go back to update and perform this operation, command enter. 
Operation was executed. Let's go back to find and execute again. Now you see it's one minute and card was adjusted as well. As you see, you can update date each time when you change the document. And this is a very useful feature and I strongly recommend you to do like this. Let's go back to update. As you just have seen, we replaced value of the card field with the array with an element. But card was already present in the document. It means that it would be easier to just push value to existing array. There are many different operators that are used to update arrays. But let's talk about this next. See you in a second.